Hey hi everyone, this is Mukesh Atwani from learn-automation.com. Guys, in this video, we are going to talk about how we can handle the tooltip or the or. Hey hi everyone, this is Mukesh Atwani from learn-automation. Hey hi everyone, this is Mukesh from learn-automation.com. Guys, in this video, we will talk about how we can handle the tooltip or help text in Selenium web driver. Or you can also say that how we can validate the toast messages or some messages which will get disappeared within a few seconds. So you can change these terms uh, based on the behavior of the text. But majorly this is called your toast messages, tooltip and the help text. So let's see what exactly we are going to cover. So we'll quickly see what exactly I mean by help text, tooltip and the toast messages and how we can handle them. So in order to demonstrate this, I have two applications. So one application which I'm going to use is Orange uh, uh, HRM application where I will show you uh, how you can validate or which kind of messages you can validate with this approach. So let me create one user here. Uh, just pay small attention. Whenever I create a new user, okay, so let's say I am creating employee name this uh, username, let's say Mukesh5080 password some dummy name dummy password and when I click and save you will see this successfully saved message right and immediately within few seconds this message will get disappeared so how you can validate because the moment you say right click inspect it will go so how you can validate this kind of messages let me show you again if I try to delete it okay it says delete again that message will come within five seconds that message will disappear so you will not get enough time to inspect this kind of element so how to handle them so let me show you one small approach um, but before this same thing will be applicable let's say I want to put mouse over here and I want to capture this text so the moment I try to inspect that element it is not visible how can I capture this as well we will see and if I open one more example, this one. So this is actually tool tooltip text. When I say right click inspect, that element is not present anymore. But you can see it is still showing me in the dome. So you have to see which kind of behavior you have. And based on that, you can apply. I will give you two, three tips. So which one will you like? You can start implementing. Okay, so let me start with this. This I will give you as an assignment. So what you need to do, you just need to log into this application and uh, username already they have given admin admin123 login. Okay, create click on admin tab and click on add. You create a user and you will get that post message. Now in this example, I will put mouse over and uh, I will try to capture this. So how to capture this? First of all, you put uh, open the inspector, go to source tab and can you see that we have an option called pause script execution. So when you press F8, it will actually stop the execution and then you can actually inspect or do whatever you want. It will not uh, make any calls to the server. It will, that execution will be stopped. So you can see we have one option called F8. So let me put mouse over. And from my keyboard, I'm pressing F8. Can you see this message? Paused in debugger. For a few people, this F8 will not work directly. So you can press function and F8. In my case, I'm able to press directly. In case if it doesn't work for you, press function and F8. And it will pause the debugger. Now you can just go ahead and inspect this. You can see it will not move. You can inspect easily. So I can understand that we have one more tag now, which is called uh, class is tooltip inner and this is the text. So I can write a XPath in a such a manner which will capture this. So I will say find a div tag which has the class tooltip inner and we got this. Okay, so this is the XPath we got. And we also need one XPath. Just a second. Yeah. We also need a XPath for this particular element right because when we put mouse over then only we will be able to get the text so I will write one more xpath 
that find a hyperlink where text equal to this. So these are the two x path which we need to do. First thing we need to put mouse over for this particular web element. As soon as you do mouse over for this web element, this text will come. So immediately after mouse over, we will try to capture the text from this and we will validate. Capture the text and store in a variable and validate the same. This is what we are going to do. Approach will remain same guys, same thing you can do here. Okay, let me show you immediately. Uh, let me again create some new user, some dummy user, some dummy password. And guys, you have to be very quick when you uh, try to capture the text because it will immediately go. So this password is not matching. So ABCD one two three four. Uh, I'm already in the source tab. Okay. Uh, A B C D one two three four. The moment that message will come. F8 I have pressed. So this message will not move now. So this message is present already. So you can see we have a separate div tag. We also have a class called message success fadeable. So if you don't want to use this class and all anyways we have the text right. So what we can do we can write a xpath in a such a manner that we will try to find it out a tag which contains a text called successfully saved guys I have written the xpath as well what you need to do you just need to write the script to come to this page add a user and validate the same because process is exactly same you just need to write the code so I will show you with this example and one more approach I will show you with this you just try with this okay so let's quickly write this script uh, what I will do I will quickly create a package called tooltip demo now whenever you start working with Salesforce, in Salesforce application you will see there is always a text box for each and every field. So sometimes in our scenarios you need to validate the, whether this help text is correct or not. So again when you try to uh, inspect that help text it will immediately go. So you need to uh, stop the debugger okay, and uh, you actually have to stop the execution from that source tab inspect and then validate so tooltip example I will take and uh, I can take public static void main or I can directly start with testng so I'm using testng now so I will use at the rate test if you don't use testng then maybe you take can take junit or play in your uh, Java program so I will put immediately system dot set property I'm going to work with Chrome so web driver dot Chrome dot driver and uh, this driver path I have already captured because I don't want to waste my time to search the path immediately we'll start a Chrome session okay it's not the one Chrome driver driver dot get so we'll take this URL. These URLs I will give you in the description if you want to try the same code. And uh, I will say driver dot. Yeah. So first thing I have to put mouse over right for this particular web element. Now if if you guys know that we have an actions class for mouse over right. So again I will put actions act equal to new actions. So actions is a class. In selenium which will be responsible for all the advanced activity and the complex gestures you can see this user facing API is meant for complex user gestures so they have clearly mentioned use this class rather than using keyboard or mouse directly so we are going to use the same uh, I have created object of actions class now I will say act dot move to element so move to element is a method which will perform the mouse over on the middle of the element 
So which web element we have to use? We have to use with this xpath. So again, I will say driver dot find element by xpath. Okay, so this is the xpath which we have. And finally, we also have to call the perform method. If you don't call the perform method, it will not perform the mouse over. So perform method is mandatory whenever you are working with actions class. Now, next is we need to capture the this tool tip, right? So we will say dri driver dot find element by x path. And I will use one method called get text. You can use get text or you can use get attribute inner estimate. Both will work in the same manner. So what it does, it will return the visible text of this particular web element. So whenever you call this, you will get as a text. So I will say uh, help text. And uh, simply you can print it. Now, if you don't want to print, you want to validate, then you can put a certain statement. So what exactly it does, it will simply print hooray, right? So you can see here, there's one more way I will tell you this. So when you put mouse over, it also gives you this hooray keyword. So we will put a assert statement that assert uh, assert true and assert true will expect a condition so we'll say help text dot contains hooray then my validation pass otherwise it will fail my test very easy process first mouse over capture the text printing is optional and finally validate so let's capture this run as a test ng test and let's see so it will start will open that URL put mouse over capture the text and let's see so you can see it has actually captured it printed hooray and it passed my test this is one one of the easiest approach which will be applicable for each and every part whether it's a help text toast messages any kind of text which will uh, fade away when we put mouse over or when we say right click and inspect element so this approach will always work. So always remember you need to press F8 or function F8. Now let's see the next example. So in this example what I will do I will take another application where you can notice one more thing that this is the text when I put mouse over. But without mouse over also if you see that we have mouse over me plus it also have a one span text sorry span tag and this is the text this text is as of now invisible on the uh, UI but somewhere in the dome it is already present so you can put mouse over and then you can capture this for this I don't need to do this F8 with the dome I can understand that we have a class called tooltip so if I say tooltip right so this is uh, one x path where I have to put mouse over first and as soon as I put mouse over this will be visible so here I can see we have a span tag so I will write a span tag where we have class name equal to this so mouse over first and then use this no need of F8 because here it's clearly visible in the dome so example will remain same I will simply change the URL these URLs I will put in the description so you can give a try this will remain same yes so I have to change the xpath here and the second is this put mouse over capture the text printed and for assertion definitely I have to change so for assertion we need this text so I will only check if my text contains tooltip then my assertion should be passed right now let's run this and see
so actions class has many methods okay which will help you to perform some complex gestures but as of now we are only using for mouse over activity so until and unless you are not moving your mouse mouse will remain uh, same on that position like it will not move the moment i uh, use this manually it is going and you can say it is actually printing the text which we got and it is validating the same okay so guys now one important tip many uh, in many interviews they will ask you the same question but in indirect way okay so the indirect way can be they will ask you that can you tell me how to handle bootstrap tooltip so the first example which i showed you that is called bootstrap tooltip you can see this when you put mouse over this over here comes so i just copied the same dom structure and i showed you now so in case if they ask do not get confused with these terminologies and if they ask what is jquery tooltip that is what the second example which i showed you here also i copied the same dom structure and i showed you here if you put mouse over this tooltip will come right the moment you go to find that element it will go but if you just inspect this you can see right we have a one tooltip which is hidden we ask your age only for statistics purpose see okay so whenever you have this kind of scenarios so do not get confused with this um, bootstrap and jquery just understand the concept and everything will remain same so i hope you enjoyed this uh, example in case if you want to try please try with this uh, orange hrm very interesting example and the real time scenario as well if you like this video please share with your friends subscribe to my channel and if you have any query feel free to drop an email